Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. Now, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try these real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, go ahead and check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now, this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe that we are fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, let's jump right into it. So on the rest of this week, we're gonna be talking about GRM, gross rent multiplier problems, which is super interesting. Now, in terms of why we did commission in the beginning of the week and now we're doing GRM, I think I'm just gonna mix it up here and there. That way to make things a little bit more exciting for you guys, that way we don't have to do like five questions all in a row. I might do like three or four questions, but maybe not the entire week. I don't know, I'm just kind of, you know, seeing how it goes and seeing what you guys like and stuff like that. So leave a comment down below if you prefer an order to these questions. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna, as I mentioned before, just see how it goes and keep doing it the way I'm gonna do it. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into it. All right, so the question states, find the annual GRM, a nine unit building in Cleveland, Ohio with an asking price of two million dollars and gross annual rents of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars round to the nearest one hundredth now it's going to give us four options here a 5.25 b 5.26 c 19 and d 1905 so if you guys know what to do in this problem go ahead and do that right now uh feel free to pause if you need time if you have no idea what to do <laughs> just wait a little bit and then we'll go over it and i'll explain all that good stuff so go ahead and pause if you need to right now All right, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. So what is GRM? What is gross rent multiplier? Well, that's gonna be the ratio of the price of a real estate investment to its annual rental income before accounting expenses like property taxes, insurance, and utilities, things like that. But more specifically, it's a measure of value of an investment property that is obtained by dividing the property's sale price by its gross annual rental income. So how do we do that? Well. There's a pretty simple formula and I'm gonna write it right here uh, for you guys. So it's GRM equals property price or just price. And then it's divided by gross rental income. So this is the, the formula that you need to know for all GRM problems. So again, it's GRM equals price divided by gross rental income. So that's your core formula. Now let's plug it in. It's super simple. You just take the numbers and I'll use white to make it a little bit easier to see. So in our case, it would be that $2 million, a lot of zeros here. <laughs> and then you are going to be dividing that by this number right here, that $105,000. And what is that gonna give us? Hopefully you guys came up with it. If not, feel free to pause and do it in the calculator real fast. Um, but what's that gonna give us? That's gonna be giving us D or 19.05. So for bonus points, what does that number mean? Do you guys know? Anybody? Hopefully. Um, if you did, if you know, awesome, you get some bonus points. But what does that number mean? Well, that number is actually how many years it would take to pay off that $2 million. And that's a neat little look uh, or little concept that these rental investors use to figure out, okay, how many years would it take me to pay off this property uh, You know, if I buy it and these are the rent? or these are the annual rents. And when these investors are looking at a bunch of different properties, they can find the GRM, which we'll probably go over a little bit later uh, where we compare them. But for now, this is just how it is. But, you know, they'll compare the GRMs and they'll see, oh, well, you know what? I'll, I can pay off this rental property in, you know, eight years uh, versus this one that maybe is like 14. So this could be a better investment or maybe in terms of, you know, in 10 years from now, you want to buy something else instead of 20 years from now, you know, you could look at that and be like, oh, well, this would be the better route. 
If there's a property that, that has a lower GRM, it does not necessarily mean it's a better investment. It just means that it's going to be paid off or they're going to break even faster. Um, and again, that that kind of gets into the theory of these investments and kind of looking at it, um, you know, long term and all that stuff. But for our sake, uh, we're just looking at basic GRM problems. And that's what we did today. That's what we took. Uh, and again, this is the super important formula This GRM equals price divided by gross rental income. And again, you know, we plugged in the numbers and we found that 19 uh, point zero five. And that was our correct answer. So yeah, this stuff's super interesting. So I'm sorry if I went off on a little bit of a tangent there. Um, but yeah, for the rest of this week, we are going to go over more GRM problems. And then as I said, down below, uh, if you guys want a variation of the problems all at once, or you know, them in chunks, let me know. Again, this is a brand new series, I think this will be problem seven, uh, or eight. And you know, we're just kind of not winging it, but we're taking things at our own pace and seeing how things go. So again, I'm such a big supporter, a uh, big lover of feedback. So let me know if you guys want to see things any differently. Of course, as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have any math questions you want me to cover, I can talk about them, you know, next week's video, stuff like that. So yeah. But yeah, all right, that's going to be it for me today, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you liked it, all that good stuff, uh, consider pressing that thumbs up and of course subscribing to the channel for more real estate exam related action. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical.